Hi, I'm Hassan Shingeti, and welcome to SharePoint 2019 video course by Pact Publishing. A little bit about my background. I have 10 years experience working with SharePoint and various Microsoft technologies and services. I've built web applications on top of SharePoint using JavaScript, Node.js, React, and also built continuous integration and deployment services on top of Azure and Azure DevOps. I've worked in small businesses, large organizations, and various government agencies at the federal level, as well as the state and local levels. If you'd like to follow me on GitHub to check out some of my projects, please feel free to do so. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on GitHub as well. Let's get into the course overview. This course will consist of a complete overview of the SharePoint 2019 platform, including new features and capabilities that will take your skills to the next level. We'll cover what's new with sites, lists and libraries, app development, webhooks, and more. By the end of the course, you will feel more confident in using what you have learned in your own projects and grow your role within your organization and your career. This course is intended for web developers, architects and admins, business professionals who are looking to improve their knowledge on the SharePoint platform. Since we'll be covering some new features, you'll need a basic understanding of SharePoint. What you'll learn in this course will be covered in seven sections. In section one, we'll create sites and pages using the new modern user experience. In section two, we'll change the look and feel of a SharePoint site with branding. Section three is about document management and Office 365 integration with OneDrive and SharePoint. In section four, we'll learn how to enable users to find relevant content using SharePoint search capabilities. In section five, we'll use webhooks to receive notifications on events and SharePoint lists. Section six, we'll use the SharePoint framework to create SharePoint add-ins to enhance the SharePoint experience. And in section seven, we'll enhance the user experience through advanced features of SharePoint lists using Power Apps and Microsoft Flow. Some things that you'll need before we get started is gonna be a SharePoint Online or SharePoint on-prem environment so you can do any development and follow along. You'll also need an Azure subscription for the more advanced development that we'll be doing later on in the course. Some tooling that you'll need will be VS Code, which you can download for free from Microsoft's website. And you'll also need Node.js installed on your machine. The goal by the end of the course is for you to have learned how to use the modern experience to create sites and pages, how to create SharePoint add-ins using the SharePoint framework, how to use webhooks that connect to SharePoint and receive events from lists, how to configure your SharePoint environment with advanced search capabilities to find relevant content, and how to build custom business applications and automate business processes using Power Apps and Flow. So with that, let's go ahead and get started.